Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, wanted to continue my series on our free agent acquisitions. This is one's going to be Jason Verrett. Uh, I know we're all probably a little confused or maybe not sure who this guy is. He hasn't played a lot of snaps in the last couple of years. He's dealt with a lot of injuries, but I want to see who is he? Why did they even want to pick him up? You know, is he going to fit in our defense? So I'm going to look at a number of plays here. Uh, he's a talented player. There's no doubt. Um, there was a reason why he went to the Pro Bowl in 2015. So I went back and looked at 2015 to see kind of who who is this guy um, when he's on. And so um, there were some good things I saw. And so I'm going to point some of these out. So here, this is uh, week one, 2015 against the Lions. Now, the, the uh, Chargers, they put... Brandon Flowers, who's up here on Calvin Johnson all game. So that meant that Verrett was usually shadowing um, Golden Tate. Now, here, what's going to happen is Detroit comes out in 21 personnel. They have a tight end and two running backs. So that's 21. And they're going to start out with Golden Tate here over on the other side. And they're showing a single high safety. Um, and then they motion Golden Tate across the formation. Um, and then we have Verrett shadows him. Now, most of the time, this would this would show that it's man coverage, but I believe uh, the Chargers here actually don't play a man coverage. It's going to look like it, but I believe they're playing a type of zone. Um, this is a type of zone that uh, George Seifert used to play when he was our defensive coordinator in more of a 3-4. Um, what this is is that when this receiver in in a two back one tight end set motions away from the tight end the cornerback will follow him and all of this coverage shifts um so you're going to have these guys are coming out and this guy will drop um i think their their uh outside linebacker on this side gets sucked up as the play action but then this corner Verrett, is actually going to be in what's called a, a, a curl read area so he's got to read uh, any vertical route he will match in a man coverage and the reason you do this is so that you can't get run off and then have another receiver um, who's going to be a mismatch against linebackers or probably a safety over here um, well mainly your safety is going to be should be on the other side they rotate him down um on the weak side but it's to protect those guys from being matched up on a receiver and so here's what uh what detroit's going to do they motion golden tate over and then they're just going to run him on and out and up let me let me do it in blue here um so they run him on he, he runs a little out and then an up and they're running calvin johnson on a little post here um, the idea is they're going to they're going to clear out this side of the field because when you run this cover three, a lot of times this corner is going to match on a post route over over the middle. So Verrett here, he's got to one stay back, read the defender, read the route, but match anything vertical. And so let's watch this play, and you'll be able to see how this goes. So you can see here the motion across and. Um, and the Chargers went with a blitz here, but I, so let's let's. I just want to point some out here. One, he keeps good. He keeps his eyes on the receiver. He's watching his hips. Look at, at where his head's pointed. He's not watching his upper body. When you watch, when you're covering somebody or you're in the open field, you go where their hips go, not where their head goes. A lot of times, guys will do head fakes and things, but they can't fake out with their hips a whole lot. So he keeps his eyes in a good in good spot. Keeps in a in a good position, and he never bites real hard on this out. He's watching his receiver, and he never sees him really sink his hips to go out, and he rounds it off. He's in a position he can drive on an out route if he needs to, but he's checking his receiver to see where he's going, and then Golden Tate runs in up, and that's when he, he does something really good here that I like. Golden Tate, what he's trying to do is stack him, He's trying, which means he's trying to get up on top and cover him, and so... Golden Tate reaches out. He's trying to get a little hand inside or up top on him so that it can give him leverage to stack him, and he doesn't let him. He fights off his hand while he's running, and at this point, he's able to stay in phase. We talk about in phase, out of phase with our guys a lot, and Akella Witherspoon was awful at this last year. He was always out of phase, meaning he was 
um, always in a trail position behind the, re the receiver. And so he stays in phase the whole time, and it leaves him in position to just bat this ball away. Um, that Stafford threw an accurate ball, but he just he was in, he was in a great position. So watch how he he plays this route. He's there. He reads it well. He never gets faked out. Doesn't let him get let himself get stacked and is in position to knock the ball away. Um, here, they're playing the Steelers and. Um, he's got a tough, he had a tough assignment in this game. He was on Antonio Brown almost the whole game. And so I'm going to point this out. He's right here in the slot. This is a play that we've run a number of times. If you watched my, uh, my video on how we beat the Seahawks, one of those episodes, you're going to see a route that or a concept that we did a lot. This is a, this is a smash concept. It, it's the route that Brown runs here is kind of it's kind of a fade, kind of a corner. Um, it just depends on how the teams like to do it. Uh, basically, a smash concept is you're going to run a curl from the outside guy, and that's to occupy the outside defender, and then you're going to get the slot guy running either a fade or a corner route. And um, when we ran this against the Seahawks, we had Dante Pettis in this spot. And he ran it against uh, Shaquille Griffin, and he beat him. And um, and Nick Mullins made a really good throw. So let's watch how Verrett plays this route because he he does this very very well because he he's this route is designed to work against a cover three or cover one because it's going to put this route away from the this the middle safety and it's going to give the receiver a good advantage. So um, if we go go to the video on this, let's watch how he does this. At the snap, you can see he maintains, he sees that Brown is attacking his outside shoulder. That's sometimes called like a protection release fade. Um, Brown's, what he's going to try and do is work out and then stack and go. He wants to stack Verrett here, he which means he wants to get outside, gain leverage, get on top, and get him in a trail position. Um, and Verrett here, what he, if you watch, he doesn't just run back, he closes the gap. So as he's going, he makes sure he he forces the issue into Brown's inside shoulder. What this does is he cuts him off, and he's going to continue doing that. That never allows Brown to gain leverage and stack him, because he's going he's going to make sure that he cannot get stacked, and he and he fights him through the whole way. Um, he maintains that leverage on that inside shoulder. You can see him. He's working, working, and he's driving on that inside shoulder. So that he never gives up leverage and can't get stacked and keeps himself in a good position. Um, now this is Michael Vick at quarterback in this game, and he for I mean if you look at that that still that's that's where the ball's coming in. He's in great position again. He's in phase with him. He's at least even, and he's able to turn and look for the ball. How many times do we see our guys running and they're in this guy's hip pocket and they're just watching the receiver trying to adjust to time out when to break a pass. Um, he stays there. He stays in good position and he's going to force an accurate throw. Brown wants a little, Hey, is there anything? But I mean, there was, there was fighting going on between the two of them, but you can see how far he may, he forces Brown who's in good deal inside the numbers. He forces him all the way out and really just squeezes this route. He never gives him, gives up inside leverage. Um, that's, that's a key. And our guys have not done really well on that. So now I want to show another play here that again, this is against the Steelers. Um, they're going to be in man coverage and this, he does a good job of reading the, reading the man through to the quarterback. So here Pittsburgh, they're going to come out and they're going to run Brown on a little out and in. So they're going to, he's going to come in. Do look like he's running a shallow crosser cut and come back. Um, a lot of times, if you play Madden, this is called a zig route in Madden. Um, but and then they're gonna have if I can get this to work. There, there it goes. Um, they're gonna run this receiver up. So what they're trying to make it look like is that they're clearing out the underneath and coming across. That's again to try and get ver this corner to jump the route and. Uh, and actually, Verrett does a good job here of, as he's cutting inside, he takes a peek at the quarterback, and he's going to see something here. So, again, we'll go to the film here. 
San Diego's coming. They're in man coverage. Their linebackers are, are looking like they're in a delayed blitz. What they're doing is they're checking to see the tight end and the running back are staying in pass protection, so they're coming on a blitz. Um, so he's got no help over the middle of the field. And you see Brown looks like he's coming on a on a shallow crossing route. Very here as he's turned in, he's looking at Brown, but he's also then looking through to the quarterback. And what he's going to see is Mike Vick's shoulders are not turned over the middle; that he's he's aimed towards the outside. That's showing, as you can see here, Vick is squared up to the outside, and that's where Brown's squatting down. So he's reading through his man to the quarterback to see he's not ain't he's not looking to throw it over the middle, and so he comes down and he jumps this route. Right here, you can see him. He's ready for that outbreaking route. He did a great job of reading his man through to the quarterback. Um, so that way he's he's looking to see where is this ball going, where is the quarterback going with this. And Vic ends up his primary route his the primary route is taken away and he ends up getting flushed out of the pocket and sacked. Um, or I guess it's a it was a yeah, he was sacked for minus two yards on this play. All because Barrett did a good job. He stayed on top of his receiver, read his man through to the quarterback, saw that they were trying to go outside, jumps the route, and takes it away. That's a coverage sack. That's a coverage sack, and that goes solely to Barrett. Again, playing against one of the best receivers in the game. Um, so now here, this is against the Bears, and he's line, he's matched up against uh, Alshon Jeffrey. Um, what Alshon Jeffrey is going to do here is – let me adjust this a little bit, um, is he's going to run, he's trying to run a curl route. Um, actually, I, excuse me, he's trying to run a hook route. So he's he's trying to actually do an outbreaking route here. Um, curls will usually come turn inside, hooks will turn outside. And they're going to be in just man coverage again. Um, so he's manned up here. And... This is again a good receiver. I'm showing all these because he's doing the he's playing against good receivers here. And he's gonna do a great job of maintaining his leverage and not giving up his receiver. You can see here he's shaded to the inside. He's trying to maintain inside leverage so that if this this route goes vertical, he can attack the inside shoulder, push him outside, and help and get safety help over the over the top because when you're running a two deep safety, you don't want to give away the middle of the field. If this guy wants to run a post route, he doesn't have help there. He has help on a streak on the outside, so he's going to maintain. He needs to maintain inside leverage. And so here, let's watch this right from the snap. He's in this bump and run, so he he maintains his leverage, and then he does a great thing here. Jeffrey wants to he wants to gain inside leverage because he wants to turn this turn this route. Um, what, what Verrett does here is he pins his inside arm and he turns his shoulders as he's running. You can see it here. He's got his arm on his shoulder. Now they initiated contact before five yards. So they're allowed to carry this through. Um, and he keeps his, in, his inside shoulder pin and that, that doesn't allow him to cut out. He's, he wants to cut out here and Cutler's going to expect him to cut out. And so Cutler throws this to his outside shoulder, but Jeffrey isn't there because Verrett pinned his inside shoulder and he can't turn that way. And so he turns inside. Cutler's expecting him to go outside, and guess who's right there? Verrett. He ends up picking the ball off and he takes it to the, he takes it on a house call. Now he's he's also got speed here. You can watch this. I'll do it in real time. So you watch, picks the ball off, and then he's just going to take it to the house. Um, nobody's catching him on this one. So. Again, he's, he's got some really good technique here for man coverage. And the last play I want to show is this is against the Broncos, and he's lined up against Emmanuel Sanders. Now, they're just going to be in a cover three on this play. Um, so let me adjust this a little bit. And all Sanders is going to do is run a vertical route. He's just going to come, and he's just going to run straight down the field. Um, now, he's, in, he's in, up in a press formation, but he there he's not going to stay that way right by the end of the end of the snap he's going to turn his hips inward so he's he's going to take take his inside foot and step back um, opening up his hips that's a sign of zone coverage he's going to go into a cover 3 zone and he's going to play this really well and he actually looks a lot like Richard Sherman on this play um, and this is why Richard Sherman again is really good again about taking away vertical routes so you see here 
He's he's getting ready, and he right at the snap he bails out, and you can see this. This is a zone. If it's man, he's not gonna he's not gonna turn this direction. He's gonna try and use the boundary as a help defender, and so he'll turn the other way. Um, and so he does a great job here of he he never commits any one way. He's committed to taking away over the top, and he ends up here in in this kind of shuffle step he's got really quick feet and so he ends up in this shuffle step for a good little while keeps his eye on the receiver until he see he makes sure that the receiver's committing to going vertical and once he does that then his eyes are on the quarterback he's watching is brock osweiler looking to throw an out route or is he going vertical and that's that's a key in zone is being able to read the quarterback he sees he he doesn't commit to an outside He's going for a deep, and he maintains his, his leverage. He, again, never lets the receiver stack him. He maintains over-the-top coverage, works it the whole way, and is in position and picks the ball off. Um, that's good good corner play. Uh, we How many times did we see Akella Witherspoon get burned just like this when he was in, in kind of this press look, bailed out into a zone, and he would get beat over the top? Um, or he'd get a defensive pass interference. It was crazy. So you can watch this. He, he's just got really smooth hips and very quick feet. And so this is one of the better receivers in the NFL, and he just matches him the whole way. And he does a good job of playing his technique, keeping his eyes on the quarterback and reading the play. I know this is a little bit of a long video. There's a lot to talk about in it, but I wanted to break down a lot of this. When there's not a lot of clips uh, as far as, you know, great pass coverage from corners sometimes because if they're not being thrown at there's not a lot to show there and sometimes teams are scheming away from them so uh but if there's anything else you guys want to see anything more on Verit, just let me know uh, you can put it in the comment section you can also always go to 49erswebzone.com in the forum section uh interact with me there i'll be on be there um uh, my username is johnny dell um so you can find me there uh and i'll usually have a, a, a film breakdown thread so um, feel free to interact there. Um, love to, love to hear back from you guys. So thank you all for watching.